good morning students today in this video we are going to start the first chapter of physics for class 6 and the name of the chapter is matter we are going to start our first chapter and the chapter is matter in chemistry also you will study about matter first we will discuss the definition of matter we can define matter as anything that occupies space and have mass is called matter we can define matter as anything that occupies space is called matter whatever things which we are looking around us all the thing around us are matter all the things around us are ma matter like for example we can say the air we breathe is matter the clothes we wear is matter the bat with which we play they are matter the food which we are eating they are matter these all are the examples of matter you can say that everything which we can look around us they are matter next topic we will study composition of matter next topic we are going to study composition of matter composition the term composition means by what thing these matter are made up of by what substances these matter are made up of we will study about composition earlier some scientist has told that by his experiments they have derived that elements that all matter are composed of four basic elements all the matters are composed of four basic element let us see what are four basic element they are earth they are air fire and water these are the four basic elements by the help of which any matter is made they are combined together to make the matter now matter is also composed matter is composed of tiny particles tiny particles tiny means small particles matter are composed of small particles and these small particles are known as atoms earlier it was known as atmos earlier it was known as atmos atoms are those tiny particles which are indivisible indivisible means which cannot be further divided into smaller part we can define atom as atom are the tiny particles of an element which cannot be further divided into smaller parts atom are those tiny particles of an element tiny means smallest particle which cannot be further divided into smaller parts suppose we take an example suppose this is a solid suppose this is a solid this can be divided into so many smaller parts and at the last suppose this has been divided first into two part again that from two part we have divided into four part again for four, four part we are divided into so many parts a time will come when a very smallest part will come after dividing going on dividing these part into smaller pieces after some time you will see one small part will come that may not be further again divided 
it's that much smaller that cannot be divided again that part is known as atom now we have seen what is matter and what is atom our next topic is states of matter next we are going to learn state of matter states of matter next topic is states of matter matter is divided into three states matter is divided into three states we all know that those states are solid liquid and gas these are the three states of matter one by one we will discuss all these states first we will discuss about solid there are certain properties of solid first property is solid has fixed shape and volume the first property of solid is solid has fixed shape and volume second property of solid is the intermolecular force of solid is very much high the intermolecular force of solid is very much high third point the intermolecular space is very much less now we will study about what is intermolecular force what is intermolecular space suppose one example i am going to take that suppose this is a solid suppose this is a solid it is a state of matter suppose it is a solid and it is a state of matter it may be made of small small tiny tiny particles suppose these are the particles of matter these are the particles of matter of solid for solid the particles are arranged in this way now the particles of solid are arranged in this way that's why it has fixed shape because there are no spaces around us very small portion of spaces are left around us that's why it has fixed volume intermolecular force of solid is very much high see these are the small small circles circles are the particles of the solid and these particles they are having very much high intermolecular force that means they are attracted with each other and attraction is being done by a force it means there is high intermolecular force intermolecular space is very much less see the space between the molecules is very much less that's why solid are rigid or we can say that solid are hard substance there are certain example for solid for example brick brick is an example of solid then wood wood is an example of solid ice is an example of solid these are the few examples of solid which are having intermolecular force very high intermolecular space very much less next we will study about liquid 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 do not have the first property of liquid is liquid do not have fixed shape liquid are not having fixed shape they take the shape of the container in which they are kept like water they are not having fixed shape in whatever container you will put water it will take the shape of that container liquid do not have fixed shape but it has fixed volume the volume of liquid is fixed they are not having fixed shape but liquid has fixed volume intermolecular force is less than solid in solid the intermolecular force was very much high but in liquid the intermolecular force is little bit less than solid
now intermolecular space is more than solid the space which between the molecules of the liquid are little bit more in comparison to solid suppose this is a liquid the particles are far apart from each other the space are very much here space are too much in comparison to solid the space were very much less but in liquid the space is very much high that's why the force is also less if force will be high the particles will be attracted towards each other the fourth property we can say that liquid can flow liquid can flow from high level to low level and liquid are also called fluids because liquid can flow if if we will pour some water on the ground it will start flowing from high level from top to bottom it will start flowing these are the properties of liquid similarly we will study the properties of gas the first property is gas has neither fixed shape nor fixed volume gas has neither fixed shape nor fixed volume intermolecular force force is negligible negligible third intermolecular space is very much let us check the arrangement of the particles of gas the gases are like this there are so many spaces so much spaces between the particles of the gas that's why intermolecular force is negligible because they are not attracted towards other particle intermolecular space is very much high fourth point we can also say that gases can also flow gases can also flow in all direction gases can flow in all direction liquid are flowing from low le high level to low level but gases can flow in all direction we can see some of the examples for liquid for liquid examples are water petrol then we can say that diesel kerosene these are the examples of liquid gaseous for example gas are having so many example like any air we can say that because air is the mixture of gases we can say that air any gas you can say oxygen carbon dioxide these are the examples of gases hope up to here it is quite clear to all of you if you are having any doubt you can ask me i will explain in the next video